Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation, x power x square minus 10x plus 21 equals to 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. In order to find the value of x, we are going to consider multiple cases. And here's our case 1. In this scenario, we are going to consider we know that x power 0 is always equal to 1. So that means our this exponent x square minus 10x plus 21 must be equal to 0. And here I have copied down that exponent right up here. And I am going to set this one equal to 0. And now we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using a factoring technique. Let's go ahead and find the factors. So the possible factors are going to be x minus 3 times x minus 7 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate these two factors. I can write this thing x minus 3 equal to 0 and the other factor x minus 7 equal to 0. So that means our x value turns out to be positive 3 and the other value is going to be x equal to positive 7. And also make sure that in this first scenario that x cannot be equal to 0. And now let's consider case 2. And in this case, we are going to assume that this base must be equal to 1 because 1 power anything equals to 1. And we know that our base is simply x. So therefore, our x value is going to be simply 1. And that's our solution. And now let's go ahead and consider case 3. And in this scenario, our base x must be negative 1. And our this exponent x square minus 10x plus 21 must be an even number. So our x value is going to be negative 1. And now we are going to substitute x equal to negative 1 value in our this exponent to see whether we get an even number. And here I have copied down the, our exponent. And now let's go ahead and replace x by negative 1. So this is going to become negative 1 square minus 10 times negative 1 plus 21. Let's go ahead and simplify. Negative 1 square is going to give us positive 1. Negative 10 times negative 1 is going to give positive 10 and then plus 21 and which is equal to 32 and this indeed an even number. So therefore we conclude that this x equal to negative 1 is a valid solution. So we can see our case 1 has yielded two solutions. Case 2 has yielded just one solution and likewise case 3 has yielded just one solution as well. So thus our complete solution turns out to be x equal to negative 1, x equal to positive 1, x equal to 3 and x equal to 7. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.